Today's show is sponsored by CastCartel.com, your premium spirits marketplace. It's so convenient. Go to CastCartel.com, get your spirits shipped directly to your door. Yes, some of the allocated stuff is going to cost more, but it is a convenient play. You can sit at home. You don't have to go to a raffle. You don't have to camp out overnight. You can get premium spirits delivered directly to your door. And obviously those daily drinkers, they are going to be more on par with what you pay in the store. So check them out at cascartel.com and follow them on Instagram at cascartel. They're always doing awesome giveaways for their followers. Today's show is also sponsored by premiumbarproducts.com, your number one source for laser etched glassware and barware. It is also the place you can go to get the official dad's drinking bourbon, Glencairn. What better gift to give someone then customize laser edge glassware they have all sorts of glasses the glen the wee glen the tua the neat glass the tipsy rocks glass the kenzie dram that's the one everybody wants to get they have all sorts of glasses there as well as bar tools go to premiumbarproducts.com and check them out all right zeke you had a hell of a day why don't you tell me about it they say as long as you learn something new every day the day is not a complete wash right I've heard that. So I did learn something new today. All right. So what did you learn then? Well, I learned that you can roll over a Polaris side by side. (laughs) Oh, no. For a couple of weeks now, uh, I've been trying to line up a free day with me and my, uh, you know, my best friend, my boy from back home, just literally to go back to uh, down to the, the farm in Alabama get on the Polaris. And I told him, I was like, man, I just need to breathe some different air, uh, so to speak. You were just so trying to do out. some redneck shit with your friends. Damn Skippy. So it, it, it worked out even uh, in light of the the, the light rain today. Uh, we both sucked it up and said, oh, well, we're big boys. We'll see what happens here. So, yeah, we get down there and <laughs> we're like blowing down a couple of uh, Alabama roads, just, you know, checking out the terroir, so to speak. <laughs> Now, were you driving or was he driving? Set the scene oh, for come everyone. On. You, you know how this has to work. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a creek. So, of course, like, hey, hold on. Like, we got to go through this thing. It's damn Polaris a little dirty here. So we get the creek bed, come out, and then I'm in this field. It starts getting squirrely, like sliding both ways and fishtailing. And then all of a sudden, I mean, it just catches. It just pops right over. And all I hear is, my foot, my foot, ow! And I'm like, oh, shit, like, what just happened? And I'm, like, looking down. At first, I'm like, shit, did I, like, amputate him? And I, but I see both feet. So then I start laughing. Like, well, he can't be that hurt. He's just being a whiny. So I'm, like, just laughing to no end as I'm sitting still in the driver's seat of the side-by-side, suspended by the seatbelt like an astronaut or some shit. And I just look down and I see him on the grass going, you damn idiot. And I'm like, I didn't think you could roll one of these. He's like, what do you mean you think you could roll it? You can roll anything. Everything will turn over. I'm like, no, man, I've tried. This thing is not rollable. Well, clearly it is. I'm on the damn ground right now. Like the windshield pops out and I just can't stop laughing. Like I almost took my phone out and I was like, no, that's too much of a dickhead move. Like he's the one on the ground and he's like, my foot, my foot hurts, man. You messed up my foot. And I'm like, well, should be wearing a seatbelt, son. Safety first. (laughs) So I don't know if it's from literally like laughing so hard. I mean, even coming home, I would just think about it. And like, I'm just laughing to myself in the car. So either between that (laughs) Or like the random whiplash to the wreck. I didn't think about the time. Like, I am sore as shit right now. It's hard to walk. I have no words. I could hardly even breathe. But I have three things I want to say before we start this episode. Number one's a question. How's his foot? Look at this damn hematoma I got come up. I'm like, I don't even see a bruise, son. You're fine. Did he go to the doctor? No. (laughs) He's redneck. He ain't going to no doctor. Okay, number two. You know this is like the second accident for you in a month. This was not an accident. This was redneck shit. Shit happens. You rolled a Polaris. I already <laughs> won't go driving with you. Now I really won't go driving with you. Hey, dude, it popped over so quick. I'm like, look, if you weren't so damn heavy, it wouldn't have anchored it down. It would have kept sliding. So number three, I have one question for you. <laughs> what are the bars called that go over your head that are built into the Polaris? Oh, the roll bar. If there is a roll bar on the vehicle... 
Wouldn't that tell you that it could potentially roll? Equally, and uh, my touche to you would be, it's also got an oh shit handle. Why have an oh shit handle if you ain't supposed to holler out oh shit at some point? Doesn't make no sense to me there, son. Everyone, my name is John Edwards, and with me, as always, is Zeke Baker. And together, we make the dads drink a bourbon, but we don't win safe driving awards. Well, one of us does. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, thank you for making us a part of your day, Zeke. I do have a story for you, real quick, and then we're going to make this the shortest show in dads drinking bourbon history, hopefully, because I have to edit this and get it out tonight. <laughs> but I was backing up. I put the trash pickup was Thursday this week at my house instead of Wednesday. And I put the trash in a different spot because I needed the mail to be able to get in. I normally put it right in front of the mailbox. So it was actually kind of right behind my truck. And I go to back out of my driveway and I almost hit it. The beep started going. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to be Zeke Baker. And I stopped and I went around it. Trash cans ain't no joke, son. That's all I'll say. Well, I also have a truck, so I'm not as worried. Which randomly, I, I did have a flashback to that. <clears throat> I was running some errands yesterday, and I'm like halfway across town, and then I get a, like a message like, "Hey, you good for lunch?" I'm like, "Shit, okay." Whip a Yui, and then like I realized like, "Oh man, I'm going to detour. I'm going to be back on this road for the first time since I took out the trash can." And like, sure as shit, in the same curb, there was a recycling can sitting on the damn side of the road. I'm like, "This is what's wrong with these people right here." Got to leave it on the sidewalk, right? Man, well, there's not one. There's just a pavement and a ditch. <sighs> I got worked up again just now. Sorry to get you all worked up. You had a good day. I'm glad you had a good day. Let's get into this whiskey. So if you haven't figured out from the title tonight, we are drinking Maker's Mark 101. Before I read down the stats, because stats are important for the bottle, stats are also important when you're betting on your big game. And if you want some action, Action 24-7 has all the action for you. They are the only sports book by Tennesseans for Tennesseans. That means if you live out of state, unfortunately, you can't use Action 24-7. But if you do live in Tennessee and you use code DADS100, they will match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. Zeke used that for the national championship game. Earlier this week, we are already talked about the nfc and afc championship game but i have one stat i want to bring up before we move on to something else but it was our friend steve clem and zeke you probably missed this today in our chat he posted this stat that he got and it was all of the release points for the four quarterbacks remaining in the playoffs the three other quarterbacks they had release points where they would actually throw the ball they'd be all over behind the line of scrimmage some would be to the left some would be to the right nothing was really concentrated 99.9 percent of Brady's throws this year have been like right in the heart of the pocket. That is just a testament to the offensive line for the Bucks. Something to think about as you are going in to this weekend and who you are betting on at action247.com. I mean, let's be honest, though. I don't think anyone's ever known Brady for his mobility. He's great with those one yard QB sneaks, though. Well, yeah, he's a big dude. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into Makers 101. We are ready to do this. I put this down as a fun thing. I see Zeke is in his Makers Mark hat. I'm glad you're wearing that. Giovanna is happy you're wearing that. Ryan is happy you're wearing that. And Jane is happy you are wearing that. Super happy you're wearing your Makers Mark hat, you Makers Mark influencer. You like your hat? <laughs> I try to remain unbiased. I just, you know, I'm courteous when we get hooked up with things. Yes, you are. That is what we call you, Courteous Zeke. Maker's Mark 101. Now, the mash bill, it is the regular Maker's Mash Bill. It is 70% corn, 16% red winter wheat, 14% malted barley. Number three char on the wood here. The wood is seasoned nine months before it actually gets coopered. The average age is around six years, three years on the top tiers, three years on the bottom tiers. And this comes in at 40 bucks, 101 proof, 50.5. ABV. What did you think about this Zeke Baker? I think I was in a pretty good mood for this one. <laughs> it must have been the hat. I think it was just breathing different air, man. I'm telling you. It, it sounds funny, but uh feels more than the lungs. I know. You've even been um, nicer to me tonight. You should go down there more often. <laughs> the only one that didn't want that to happen is uh, Donnie and his foot. <laughs> My foot. <laughs> My foot. <laughs> 
we have to do a barrel that's called my foot now. <laughs> oh, man, that was so classic. <laughs> Nose wise, I got golden grams and kind of a cinnamon toast crunch somewhere in between there is what it really uh, caught me with at first. I, I thought of you in one of your, uh, you know, favorite moves. It, it reminded me kind of a McGriddle, like the way it just had a, a subtle essence that came off uniquely but it, i mean it was just like a, a boozy syrup almost that um maybe like champagne-esque like effervescence the bit of alcohol that's there i think allows it to be more noticeable to a very very slight degree it's a little pungent just right at the very first but I, I, it's almost like as a vehicle i think it just carries it well and allows you to absorb more of the nose palette wise uh, right at first it's uh it's warm enough to open up your eyes some but then it really just kind of cleans off like it reminded me of just a rich buttered biscuit i mean shit i was in the country today but <laughs> all these things are just coming back um after that first initial part, uh, the mid palate I thought was much more back to the uh, the nose of being like really golden grams or cinnamon and whatnot. The back end just cleaned off. I didn't think there was much of a finish, but uh, it doesn't leave you with anything off putting either. I'm surprised you didn't say this one tasted like collard greens and okra today. No, no, no. So, uh, are you go ahead and I'll tell you about this food thing. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I said on the nose, it's soft. The nose doesn't come up and really grab you. Typical maker stuff, cinnamon toast crunch, I, I completely agree with. It's definitely the wheat that's in there mixed with the corn and kind of gives it that cereal note to it. Vanilla, maybe a little bit of smoke and maybe a little bit of mint, like the slightest little hint of like a winter green or a mint, something like that on there. It was very, very, very faint. Then when I went to the taste, honestly, I had fun with this. I said it's like Makers with a little more kick and a little more spice. And if you think about where this one falls, and I don't want to get into the whole conversation part, but this one is the in-betweener. It's in between the cast strength and in between the regular Makers. I felt that's kind of where the taste was. It was probably a Makers turned up to seven. It's not 11 where the cast strength is. It's just, you know, it's a Makers at seven. You're not going to piss off your neighbors by playing your music too loud but you're not but you could still hear it when you're in the other room you're not wearing headphones exactly the finish is nice enough it's the perfect finish i think for a makers 101 i know these notes aren't like really specific i just think it's a solid pour it's a solid price it's a little upgrade to a regular makers like i don't really think about having makers neat I can think about having this one neat and the cast strength neat. I think that's kind of where it amps it up a little bit. It's not just a mixing drink at that point. It's the point where, I mean, there's plenty of people that drink Maker's Neat out there. I did when I was in college and I did with a hell of a lot of ginger, but I think if I order Maker's, I'm ordering Maker's and ginger at this point. So I think this is a nice addition to the lineup. I know it's a limited edition release, so who knows how long they will have it out there for. This is a solid point it's a buy for me it's a good addition to the lineup that's where i stand it's definitely one of those things that kind of falls under the umbrella of i wouldn't be offended if you pass that around again when you're sitting around with your buddies and, you, and you're not even talking about whiskey but everyone's going to enjoy it without any you know eh, i wish it was this or that or i'd rather have blah 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 like, eh, you know if you pour that one more time i'm not gonna complain you're not sitting there saying it's the best thing you tasted in your whole entire life, but you don't have one bad thing to say about it. No, no, no. And uh, one of the things I thought about, too, was, uh, you know, you remember some years back when they talked about dropping the proof. I thought this really kind of like drives that nail home of like why people were so emphatic about, no, we don't want that slight drop. Like, well, then when you have this, it just really opens your eyes to, ooh, no, like this is this is even more of the wheelhouse. Like, where's this been the whole time? I kind of feel like this pour represents me as a significant other. It's not going to be the best thing you ever had in your whole entire life, but you're not going to have something bad to say about it. <laughs> I, I just closed my eyes and ears for that. I'm not even sure what you said, but I, I just I repeated. A, I just repeated what I said before in a different way. <laughs> I will say, in, in in the context of not a uh, significant 
other, but a, a significant brother almost. Me and my boy Donnie, we, we're, we're that close and have been for forever and a day. So we uh, we go to Fort Payne, Alabama. This little it's called the Barbecue Shack, but nobody ever gets the damn barbecue. They got really good chicken tenders and these things called JoJo's Taters, which is a uh, a potato basically sliced, probably I don't know eighth of an inch thick, maybe less than that, but you know sliced long ways like a chip would be. And then they batter it and deep fry, and they have this homemade uh, like it's basically Zach sauce on tin. It, it, it's way better. I think uh, you already told us about says. this. Did I? I think I you told might you have. about it. I thought. I think oh, you did on did. on the recording. I think you did on our uh, last one. Well, literally, like you know, it's drive through only with everything going on. So we roll up in there, and he's driving you know, the car <laughs> with his foot. <laughs> exactly. He could drive after that. It, hey, if you can drive a car, it can't hurt too bad there. <laughs> So we roll up to the window and they're like, hey, man, been a while. I ain't seen you in a minute. How's your dad been doing? We ain't seen him in a while either. He's talking about my dad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn, they really think you're his kid, huh? He's like, oh, yeah, dude. I never tell him no different. I get discounts. <laughs> uh, he just laugh like, I'm in the car. I'm the real kid here. Like, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So I take it you're a buy on this too. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we've talked before and and i'm sure will again but for a lot of whiskeys 101 to 107 is a really good proof point just in general and i think this fully you know embodies that as well and kind of one other note that i put down after having this was literally like I mean, why chase the wellers why worry about the wellers this is a great pass around drinker that like i say nobody's going to be offended by i do love owa though i think this would be a fun blind at some point I think when we have more time and you're not doing redneck stuff, we should do that. I would like to see how uh, how this falls in a uh, you know a, a random group of people as well. I, I I think it'd be surprising. I think we might have to brown bag it. Best way to roll. Find us on Facebook at Dad's Drinking Bourbon, Twitter at Bourbon Dad's, Instagram at Dad's Drinking Bourbon. Find us wherever you download your podcast. You already have because you're listening to us right now. Please leave us an open and honest review just like we leave open and honest reviews about the whiskey we drink. I did buy this Makers 101 and then after I did that and I gave Zeke a sample, he did get a bottle of this from the rep. So I am being completely honest about how we got our stuff. So the one you're drinking, I think, is the sample that I gave you, or are you drinking from the bottle that you got from your rep? Knowing that you paid for the sample, I make sure to drink that first because I just feel better about it. Okay, so all the people listening, we paid for this whiskey today. (laughs) Zeke will be drinking whiskey that was given to him later. Cheers. Ciao. My foot.